What up, YouTube? It's Landon D here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to play martial law. I'm gonna tell you everything about law, and I'm gonna put it down into a bunch of different chapters so you can skip around and it's gonna be ordered. So let's get started. So law, he's a he's a really aggressive character. He's pretty normal sort of sense. He's pretty basic. He's one of the first Tekken characters added, and he got a really really old strain, really really old strains. Law is about doing a bunch of Rekkas, and the Rekkas are basically three hit strains. You got a bunch of three hit strains, a lot of them. So you're gonna be doing a lot of these three hit strains over and over, and you're gonna be trying to mitt up your opponent like that. I'm gonna skip the heat engagers, and since they're already in the move list already, we're gonna run into the heat engagers anyway, and I'll explain how to use his heat mode and what's cheap about it. But his first move, technically, even though it says number 15, is 1-1-1. One, one, one. It used to be Machine Gun Punch, Old War. Um, the first two hits do not jail. You can duck the second hit. There is a glitch in the game where if you, if you just frame the second hit, the second hit jails. But that's not really important. Most people you fight will not duck the second hit unless they're really locked in or cracked. Except it's high, high, mid, and the mid will hit him. It's counter hit confirmable. So you can just do 1-1, one, one, and if you saw something counter hit, you finish the last one, and you're in heat mode. And in heat mode, this is a launcher. Get a full combo off of it. Pretty cheap. Basic dive combo. Next move, 1-1-2. One, one, this is Law's 10 frame Punisher. I'll go over Punishers after this. It's pretty good as a 10 frame. I used to do 1-1-2, one, one, down 4-2. I do that a lot, because it's plus sits, down 4-2 with the frame trap. So if people are mashing after it, you can just down forward two like that. Or if they're not gonna mash, you can either down back three. If you really want to go on the dragon charge because people mash after it, you're like plus seven. Like that. It does not jail, so people can't duck this last hit if they're looking out for it. Beware of doing the down forward two too much against characters like Lily or Alisa, because they'll be able to backdash out of it or sidestep it. Uh, one two. Law's 1-2 is gets a lot of things started. His 1-2 starts his Rekkas. 1-2-2-2, two, 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 Dragon Fist combo. This move is sick. This whole thing is guaranteed from the first hit. So like you're mashing, 1-2-2. Two, two. It's minus 8. It's very very safe to do. Like you think someone's going to interrupt and you don't want to 1-1-1, one, 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 right? You can do 1-2-2-2. Two, 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 and it's all guaranteed. You can just do 1-2-2 two, two and finish it if it counter hit. And it goes into Dryden Charge. It's got better frame data if you go in the Dryden Charge. It's plus four on hit. It does 40 damage. It does a lot of damage on counter hit. That's like a full Punisher right there. Like a full, like 14 frame Punisher. You go in the Dryden Charge, it's like plus 10. A lot of people try to challenge Law after this because it's only plus four. And you can jab him out of down four too. So a lot of people even try to move or do something else because most laws don't frame trap properly after it. But you can get pretty good stuff. So I land this heat engager afterwards a lot. Or you can start any type of pressure. The next move, 1-2-2-1-2. Two, two, one two. Now he has got a mid from this and it is not in CC. So you can't do 1-2-2-1-2. Two, two, two. That would be really OP. But... Uh, this is for unblock. This is how you get people to block after your 1-2-2 two, two, or just steal a turn because they're looking for this high. Forgot to mention this high right here. If I can get into width. Forgot to explain the property on this high. Does that. You get a free grounded hit after it like that. So that's why people would want to duck because... Hold up. The high is safe. It's minus nine. It's minus three when you go into Dryden Charge, though. So that means you can parry someone with the Heat Punch Parry. But like I said, I'll get into that later. The mid is counter hit confirmable if the hit before it counter hits. So let's say you see the counter hit sparks for that right the third hit because people will want to mash after your one two right so you can do and if you catch them mashing 
in between it, right there on that third hit, like this, we did a wall splat or a knockdown. I use it a lot at the wall. Try to delay it like that. Again, it's like a basic wrecker thing. So if you're really good with wreckers, law is going to be really good. You just got to look out for the counter hit sparks if you're using it. So you can really... He's got a lot of mid-ups within just a jab, if that makes sense, right? The second hit like that. Like, it's minus eight, and they can match after it, but I can do that. Or I can just do the mid. So you got, like, a lot of mid-ups with it. Or mind games you can play off of just as one, two, two. One, two, three. That's how you want to get carried in neutral. If you have poor spacing. You can throw this out a lot. They buff the strain. But not the entire properties. It is NCC from the first hit. Which is natural counter hit combo. Counter hits from the first hit. It gives you plus 13. A lot of law players started doing this. Free step kick. Right there. Really, really good. Um, you can also... It also spaces you perfectly for his nunchuck. Like that. A lot of characters won't even be able to do the punish. I don't even think Paul's shoulder reaches from there. Pretty good. Most of the time, I step kick. Or I... Up over three. But yeah. You want to throw this out. It's really hard to step in neutral. And it's just... It's just a really cheap move. And it's minus five. Um... If you really don't know what you're doing, you can just throw this out with law. Like, sometimes I just do it twice, like that. And a lot of people just autopilot sidestep right after it. It's minus five, so it really enables your mind game to, like, carry small pokes after it. Or sidestep. It's it's just really good to make sure the other person is, like, playing into your jabs. And it's just really safe. And it's not some pushback. It's just a really annoying move. You could even, like, set up start slide spacing right here. That's just... It's just a really annoying move. It always has been. And it used to be minus 9, but now it's minus 5. So you can really, like... Like, be annoying with it. Or even armor, if you really want to afterwards. It's really annoying. Want to somersault faint? I mean, you can use this if you really want to. Once you start getting people worrying about this... Because it does put you into slide, and that is his most rewarding bits up. Or 50-50. He has. It's his highest reward low, slide. I'll get into slide, but you don't really want to use this as much. Unless you're getting really stylish. It's not something I would do the most. Fake flip, uh, four is not safe in this game. It's punishable. If I can get him to block. Yeah, it's minus 12. It exists, though. You gotta know if he has it. Rave war combo. This string is older than me. This is a Tekken 1 string. Rave War used to be the name of Tekken before it was Tekken. Quick history lesson. And it's just his 1-2-2 two, two string. 2-2 two, two isn't natural at all from the first hit. One, hit. one counter hit or or normal hit. You're only using this if you really want to play the mind game I was talking about. right? You want to immediately get to this. It's zero and block. Zero frames is really good for Law, because it makes people want to jab, and he really wants to outplay his people with his jab. Pretty good. Pretty good. It, it's the, uh... So anything that goes into that, or looks like that, is going to be your Rave War combo. They're all plus four. Like that. And from plus four, you can bat four, or, you know play into your jab you really want to get people to play into your jab basically again it's not the same properties as one two 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 so you can do everything from it it's just if you want to get to it and i think it has a little bit better of a hitbox than his jab imo in my opinion you know i think it does but it's it's something you're gonna delay a lot like two jab two jab two jab two 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 a low two 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 like that Rave War combo. Strange name is older than me. Blazing Fist combo. It's... We've already been over this. Everything that goes within this is the Rave War combo. I already told you how to use it. Like so. Rage Dragon combo. Now this is... Also goes into his Rave War. Forward 2 goes into 2-2 two, two, like that. But... 2-2. Uh, two two, one of his Punishers. Or too bad too. It's a little bit longer range. It lost a little bit range. 
It does jail, even though it's high, high, and flip a bad turn. Got a third hit. It's like that. If the third hit counter hits. Excuse me. The third hit counter hits. All of it's guaranteed. And you can link a heat burst after it. If you catch someone slipping. And you can get a full combo like that. Mostly what you want to use this for. Even though the final hit looks like Dragon Hammer, it is not plus. I didn't even know it was minus three. I thought it was still minus seven. But I know it was just weapon plus. It's still minus three into Crouch. But it does allow you to parry people right after it. So I do use two bat two a lot because it's it jails and it's natural after some things. Second hit of this on counter hit, forward three three one. That's natural. Two bat two is also plus seven. So a lot of people just randomly match here. And bat turn two is a launcher. One counter hit. One counter hit only. Can't catch people slipping like this. It's not too bad. And his back turn low is way safer. And it's got a pretty good property on it. Counter hit property. Not too bad. You can just throw out the first hit of forward two. It is zero. So people are going to really look out for this string. If they aren't looking out for this string, you can really mix them up with it. And you can do it from drag and charge. Like that. I probably already showed it though. Faint middle kick. This is the move you get on accident when you mess up 3 plus 4, 4. It does that on counter hit. Um, 3, 4 is your punish. That's the next move. 3, 4. 12 frame punish. Really good knockdown. He used to have a lot of recovery after this. He used to go like 3, 4. What's your? And like you have to wait for it. But now you can kind of 3, 4 and pressure slide after it. If I can stop being a bot. Like that. Like that. It's pretty good depending on how they tech. Shaolin spin kits. This is such a controversial move because if the other person is really looking out for it, they can get the duck on this high every single time. 13 frame punish. But if they're late, it's a really, really dumb mix up. This is his 13 frame punish. It's also a counter hit launcher. I don't really have an optimal combo for this because. Granted, it's just risky to throw out at higher level because they are they have really good defense for it. But if I see someone's defense isn't really that, you know, tight or in tight path, I'm using 4-3 as a 13 frame launcher that puts me plus 8 in the dragon charge with a final hit after it. And if they're not really good at punishing it, I got an armor move after it that also isn't launch punishable. Like, I will admit to. And if you are mashing after it too, like, not frame tight, I will get this. And I can launch you off of that too. It's just a really controversial move. I see a lot of law players throw out. It can be a really bad habit sometimes when the person ducking it. Like, if you see someone duck you and launch you for this, you should probably not use it as much. But it allows you to do four up three and it puts you minus one. But granted, they can sidestep four up three. So it, it's just a fuzzy on how to beat it. It's not really too solid. Most of the time, this is just meant as a punisher. But you can mix someone with it if they are are sleeping, right? If you land it as a punisher and you go into dragon charge, you are plus 17. I think 4-3 into that is uninterruptible. Like, it's just cheap. But you can still pressure slide like that. It's, it's really cheap if you land it. It's honestly one of his cheapest punishers. It's a Punisher that leaves someone standing in, in the Dryden charge, and he only has that from 1-1-2. One, one, so it's for five more damage, you get like a really dope mix-up and a lot of plus frames. Way more plus frames. If they match out of this, they just die. You can also go mid like that. 4-up-3, we already went over this. You don't get a counter hit combo if you do 4-up-3 at all. Forgot to mention 4 is plus 7 when counter hit. It's just... Magic boards were taken out of the game. This move is Fire Flame Tornado Claw. It's minus 13. And then launch it on counter hit. This move is super important to Law. Like, super important. In heat mode, it's what makes him, like, really cheap. It, it's what makes him, like, wow, you actually have to hard guess versus Law. Because it tracks to his weak side. To his left. A lot of people will try to get out of Law's stuff by stepping right. Let's say I was doing 
jab, down for one, down for one won't hit him. My one, two whiffs on him. Forward two whiffs on him. Anything you want to start like your 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 cheese offense with with jabs. They're gonna wanna go that way. Dragon and hammer will get step, stuff like that. So having a nunchuck like that. It's really, really, really good because most of the time you do have back four for people just moving around and back four is really good, don't get me wrong. It's just not really high reward enough to deter people on plus three and sometimes you can lose damage for going off a of plus three. So the fact you have in heat mode something like this. Something like that, that can like take off like half of someone's health bar for just trying to avoid like a simple situation is really insane. Next move, three plus four. Um, this is Law's main whip punisher. His main whip punisher. You're gonna be using this a lot because people are going to try to keep you out when you start getting really annoying with your slide pressure. They nerfed the spacing on it and it used to be a whole launcher, but he doesn't really need that anymore now that he's got this move. That reaches him from there, as you saw. It's minus 13 every time. So I get kind of good at confirming if it hit or not. It is hit confirmable. Yeah, this is main with Punisher. It does 40 damage. Poison Arrow. This move is really cheap. They buffed the hell out of this move. It is a plus two mid counter hit launcher. One inch punch. It is so cool. You get a lot of damage from this. It doesn't really have that good of tracking. But it's just a really powerful move. Whoever you're fighting against, you're gonna think this is way more plus than it is, and you might as well treat it like that, because at plus two, I can technically, like, launch you off of it when I'm in heat mode, right? And it gets even more plus when you go in the dragon charge. Technically, the situation changes. It just changes the risk reward of the moves. Dragon charge is really cheap in heat mode. It just becomes the most broken stance ever. Forward 3-1. A lot of law players were very confused about this move, especially me at first. I didn't really know what I was supposed to use this move for, but it's mainly because I didn't really understand what the game was about. Um, I didn't know what they wanted law to do. Law kind of just wants to pressure you with slide from this distance. This distance for law is probably like the cheapest distance right before I have like an unreactable dash where I get in and where I can I force you to react to slide. I can mix you up with the string and get in with the step kick. This string is actually very overloaded, even though it doesn't have that many properties on it and it's minus two. This string is like the ultimate like mitz, mitz you move, like poke. This move will also show you how the other person is going to mash. You need to really pay attention to the reaction if you're going to finish the stream. It's a step kick. First, it's minus 10, which isn't even that bad. Like, that's extremely safe. Akuma is not in the game anymore. And you catch someone mashing you after this. Like, if they're mashing after this on block, you, you basically bodied them already. Because you can just finish that, counter hit them, land a free forward two, or you can just go in. It goes in the Dragon Charge, and you're going to have to practice having a clean Dragon Charge after it, or you're going to get hit out of it most of the time. It's not really an easy-to-do string at first, but I would, if you're wanting to learn Law, and you want to learn what Law does, I think this string will give you, like, a good fundamental understanding of what Law even does. If you can use this string, you can use anything Law ever does. Basically, you go in, you think they're gonna do a second hit, you do a low, or you can finish it and it's minus two. And when you go into Dragon Charge, though, you're plus. So, if you got someone mashing after this, you get free heat and danger like that. There's so much you can do. A solid player will just step right like that because they don't want to play into that move right there or sidewalk right, excuse me. They'll like do a little sidewalk right block because it'll beat most of the options after it like that. I don't know why he's getting hit by that. That's actually insane. False movement is trash. Okay, he stepped it. I don't know why he wasn't stepping it. 
the bot is trolling. So that really lets you into this highest reward thing, which is really cheap from just a poke string, right? Just people don't want to play into it. They'll do that after one, two, three, two, just to not play into whatever law does. But you're letting him slide from this distance, so like it's just really dumb. Like you're you're letting him full crouch if you do that. And if they're really adamant about stepping like that, you can blow them up for it. it that's kind of scary. Not gonna lie. Are you terrible? Because that is kind of launch punishable. But again, the strain. You use it to get in, and then you can just do it again like that until they give you a response. And it's minus two, so you can parry after it. You can punch someone in the face if they're not jabbing you after it. It's just a lot of coverage. You can just do the first hit. It's very overloaded. You can do a lot with it. It's just really annoying. It just There's a lot of pressure being inflicted on the other person when they block the string. It doesn't feel like that when you're playing it, but it's just frame data they can't predict after it. And if the second hit counter hits, I told you to get forward to after it. Dragon Hammer. You cannot play Law without Dragon Hammer. This is the move you do. People are blocking way, way too much. You mitts up. Your main mitts up is Dragon Hammer or down bat three when you run up to someone because they gotta hold it. When you run up to someone with Law, they're like, hey, you're not mashing a lot. I'm going to Dragon Hammer. And Dragon Hammer puts me crouch. And you're blocking Dragon Hammer crouch. You're not going to let me slide on you. Or hit up forward three. And you don't want to mash after Dragon Hammer because the shit plus. My jab is godlike. And my wild standing four has a counter hit property. All wild standing four might be the best wild standing four in the game. They really have to hold a lot of stuff after getting hit by Dragon Hammer. Post before Dragon Hammer, I mean. Like down forward one, you won't be able to step. Got my three. Like that. Maybe get hit by jab, you gotta hold Dragon Hammer after they get hit by back four. I think he has to hold Dragon Hammer, not every character does. Right? He just you just can't move around it. You gotta hold that string. And it does a lot of damage. It does a lot of damage. This move is really cheap. You kinda wanna stagger pressure with this move. You wanna use your jabs like this. Wacha, right? And then punish people for an action after Dragon Hammer. Maybe a little down bat three. Move around, down bat three again. Like Dragon Hammer. It's just a really, really dumb move. Like, to make sure people aren't ducking you. You're a higher reward lows. And just limiting their movement afterwards. Kind of want to get people to start trying to mash in on it. One block. And then just while standing for counter hitting them afterwards. Or beating their response. This move is just one of its best moves, honestly. The only weakness of this move is you can step it. It's got a little bit more tracking to Law's left than it does to its right. You want to step it to Law's right, so that means you want to step it left. This move is very underused, but it sort of has the same use as forward 3-1, but like really high reward. When people are just fuzzy mashing too much, like around this range, you can just kind of blow them up with this move. And it's a low crush. Like this. It's just not really one to use much because a lot of people are moving in neutral to avoid a uh, legend kick. This move right here. So it, you can get stepped. If this gets stepped in neutral, you will just die. But you see them not moving and they're committing the fuzzy stuff. You can get in with this. It's pretty underused. I might use it a lot more. I do know when to use it. It's just very situational. And it does have a really high reward though. Dryden Raise. Another one of important Law's moves. This is probably like one of his main forms of keep out when you think people are going to dash in. It's a frame trap too, off of many things. It's just, it's a down forward too. It's one of the main Tekken moves. You know, it's like your counter hit cash out 15 frames. Normal hit launcher, counter hit launches crouchers. Doesn't launch crouchers, but it will launch them when counter hit. It's just one of his main moves. It also has bullshit tracking, as we saw before. It will just randomly track the way you're supposed to step it, even at minus one, just because. It's like some distance thing. It's just it's just bullshit. Like, you're going to rob people with this move. Like, you should use it a lot, like, randomly when you think, like, okay, when are they going to dash in or you have data on them? 
Like, you can get carried by, like, doing one, two, three, down, forward, two. Like, dragon hammer. Just down, back, three, back, four. Down, forward, two. They don't allow you to parry jabs after it anymore. But if someone is doing down, forward, one after you're down, forward, two, like, that's just a free parry right there, bro. Like, they just got outplayed. This move is broken, bro. Like, you will rob someone off of this. And it just feels awful when you get launched by Law, bro. Because you were just trying to move around this shit. And you just gave Law a full launch, bro. Like, it's also the move you're going to use when you start getting people to tweet because of slide pressure. Like, it's just... It's just once you know they're tweaking, like, you just hit down for it, too. Like, this dude is just, like, going ham. Let me just hit this move. <laughs> like, but you don't want to let... You gotta be aware of your down forward two timings you're doing. Like, it's just it. This is just like Law's electric. Like, every character's got like a. Look, you even got Paul tweaking over there. Look, he's tweaking, bro. He don't like this move either. The hitbox on it is so dumb. I wish this game had a hitbox viewer. This move is just crazy. Dryden Lance. The move is very situational. Ninja Killer tried putting me onto this move. It's not too bad. It's just not too useful a lot of the times because i just i'd rather just like move around or duck but you can get some neat stuff off of it that my fault og like that you can do some cool stuff with it at the wall and open round if you do you do land it like a little bit off axis or someone faster than you you can land a heat burst. It's mad inconsistent. I don't like to really do that because I don't want to heat burst and waste my heat mode just off of some random ass thing. I know you can combo slide after it, but like, again, like, I just, I just don't really like doing that. I just like going for Okazemi because it's just mad good Okazemi right here. Down forward four, one plus two. Law of Down Forward 4 is honestly, like, I just got woke on this move, like, last week. It's actually kind of dumb for, like, people that are matching. You can step it. But, like, the poke, the range it leaves you at is, like, slide threaten range. Also, the counter hit reward on this does a lot of damage. Like, that is a lot of damage for a 13 frame counter hit launcher. That's not launch punishable by most of the cast anymore. It's minus 14. Paul can launch this. And a lot of characters will either be able to launch you or get a heat engager off of it. Or something. Not Law, though. Law doesn't have a punisher heat engager. So if you do this versus Law, you're just getting kicked in the face really hard. They can backdash a second hit. It's backdashable. It's like most some characters can. Especially if you don't hit it at full range. Not, but... Down 4-4, four, four, yeah. It's like the standing medium kick of Tekken. Down 4-4s four, four, are really good. You can use it to space yourself for slide. A lot of mitts ups You come from Street Fighter. Basically, you're standing medium kick. You really like that type of stuff. You can space yourself for whip punishes and stuff like that. It's pretty good. Banana Peel. OD low. He's going to need to use this sometimes. Not really his main low. It's launch punishable if they do make a read on it. But what makes it really cheap is it puts to low that puts him in full crouch and it's a high crush. It's on some faint way stuff. It's plus four, so you can you can frame trap with while standing one. And that's counter hit confirmable. Or while, while standing four, and as you saw a counter hit, you can do that. Stuff like that. Down one three. This move is really, really good at the wall. And if you catch someone standing still. It's a little bit reactable if they're looking for it, but you got someone looking for this low, you can literally just do anything else to them and they'll die, like, if they're really looking for this low, honestly. It is plus two one counter hit, and NCC wall splat and knockdown, it's pretty sick, and you can pressure slide from it like that, it's pretty dumb automatically. I think you can just do down one and a slide input. That shit looks really weird. Like that. But yeah, a lot of times people would crouch jab after this because they think it's minus one and I'll just do like tee hee and I'll body their crouch jab. Pretty fun. Down two three. Law's most controversial move. I'm not gonna lie. I have pretty nice down two threes. Okay, my down two three hit success rate is kinda high. No glaze, but that's because I had to figure out when I wanted to use it. 
And it's like a really good move when people are like trying to end rounds like this. They just want to do mid, mid, instead of like mid, low, because they're trying to catch you off guard. You know, they're, they're like, when am I gonna low, gonna go low? Cause you know, they want to end the round with small potes. I know they're gonna do down for one, down for one twice. And I'm just like down two, three, got them GG's and then they die. Be careful, cause it is 11 frame startup, not 10. So if someone's like doing jabs over and over again, that shit is not gonna hit you. A lot of the times to beat like a scrubby law player, I shouldn't say scrubby cause they're probably trying to learn, but like a noob law player, I'll just jab them over and over, and then they'll just down two, three. Then make sure you don't do anything like a one, two. That's got like an extended like attack coming out of it to Law when you think he's gonna do it. You can just jab him, and then he'll just fold. It is launch punishable minus fifteen for like most of the cast. So just be careful, you know. Be careful when throwing this out. You do not want to do this very often. Do not rely on this move. Do not rely on this move. This move is like suicide. It, it, well, you should probably do it if they're not punishing you. Like you control with it. But if someone's launching you for this move, please stop doing it. Please like use some common sense. Um, down three three. I was trying to get woke on this move. I use this as a round ender for when I think people are gonna duck low. If they try to block this low and they mash after it and try to punish the low. Second hit counter hits. And every time that counter hits after, as a round ender, I do a taunt because it's badass. And I lie to people and say the taunt is automatic if that counter hits. It's pretty good. It is counter hit confirmable. And you do get a free follow up. Like that. Oh shit. I'm being a dude. You got dash and unchuck, or whatever you want to fucking do. You know what I'm saying? Um, it does put him in the slide. It's just not in the main low I'm trying to use, because, like, down bat three and size of three just do mad damage, and slide is there, and then down one is there. It's just something he has. He can do. It's not the main lows I'm using. Down four three. This low poke is really cheap for people that, like, you don't want to fight against law and you can cash out on damage and then reset the neutral without getting a response and just be like yo i was gonna match here right so you would like do down back three down back three dragon hammer down four three or something like that so you'll do down back three get 15 damage down back three again that's 30 damage and then you're down four three and then you just like accumulated 50 damage on someone because they just didn't want to do anything and you reset neutral a lot of time, law players just legend kicked after this, and I used to do that when I was a noob. I don't do that anymore. I don't really like doing that as much. That's not where I use legend kick anymore. Some people still think I do that. I've noticed. I don't. I don't do this anymore. But I mean, look out for it. A law. It's like the perfect spacing for him to want to do it if he wants to commit to a suicide tactic. If he's really feeling like committing to a suicide tactic, drag in charge. Um, that's just his manual way of getting the dragon charge if you really want to use the slide input. It's really dumb to just randomly do this when you have the auto punch parry and you're in like that small Tekken range where people like to randomly mash jabs or jabs are their fastest thing because Law is really containing their move list. So you can just randomly like mash dragon charge and if they didn't do anything then you can go into forward two like this. I shouldn't even be telling you all these scrolls but this is how I land so many punch parries on accident. I mean on purpose because I meant to do it. Um, I just be randomly dragon charging like that just in their face. If they didn't press anything I'll go into forward two two and I'll dragon charge again. It just allows you to auto punch parry after moves that he can't normally dragon charge after it. Like, what's a move that's just dumb? Like this? Like, now he's just got, like, a Dragon Charge transition after it in Heat Mode? If, if the move doesn't already just put you in the Dragon Charge automatically. I like, I spend most of my time in Dragon Charge anyway. When I'm, like, up close. Um, down 3 plus 4, 3. It's not launch punishable in this game. And most people will try to launch it. Because it's been launch punishable for, like, 20 years. But now it's not. Is minus 14, but it doesn't launch you anymore. It just gives you a flip over. Um, this is really good for key charge setups if you're really trying to mash. 
and generic low. Pretty funny. Um, it does wall splat, so you gotta keep that in mind. It's kind of cheap. I might start using it at the wall because it's funny. Elbow spring kick. I don't know why old head law players love Frogman so much. I've never found any use for this at all, other than like trolling people. And then you can stay down. Like I don't, I don't really know what to do with this. My fault, OG. If you really like this move or are obsessed with it, some for some reason, um, good on you. Shin Crusher, probably the the most annoying low law has. It's plus three and it forces crouch. You've just limited like 95% of their move list, except if you're Nina Williams. If you're doing this move versus Nina Williams, you're just straight on the first scene of Jackass right there. Like you are just like saying, my name is Law, welcome to Jackass. And she's just did an armor move. Like you're playing life on the edge. But the move does what you need it to do. It's getting people to start attacking into you or matching smaller options. Most people will mash while standing four after this. And basically the meta you want to do is down back three. You can either, down four run doesn't have much range. Down back three, back four, it will literally cover their side steps and beat like every movement in the game that isn't an armor move from crouch if they're stepping. And back four three is not a second hit. So you want to do that and like build your offense on that. And then you see they're not attacking after down back three. Then you could just do a down back three again. If they're trying to duck down back three, then you have a dragon hammer. A dragon hammer also at the same time covers people mashing. And sometimes you get this and it's hilarious. And it's like, okay, well, he just died there. Down back three also tracks to my left, which is where you want to avoid down forward one, which is minus one. That forces people to jab into you and if they aren't like jabbing into, into you or not letting you counter their small options then you down back through them again this move is really dumb this is how you get people to start hitting you back you just gotta know back four just keep in mind they can crouch jab after this and people will start crouch jabbing or while standing four while doing while standing four after you and to beat that all you gotta do is just step after it and whip punish them afterwards that's it it's not too hard just that do whatever move you want afterwards if they're really like dying after it look i'll even show you it right here look punishment settings crouching look look i've i've died to this so many times i'm just gonna help you out with it people are gonna mash after this literally you think you're gonna mash bro let's say they do either of these things this is what law is supposed to try to beat he's trying he literally limits them to doing these posts and then you just step. All right, he died. Or he can like just freaking engager. Sometimes he can parry it. And then you can even mash one 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 sometimes. Like he's, I'm waiting for it. And then I just that's why I said I just got woke on down four four. Like I just killed him for that, bro. That was insane. Look at that. I dropped the combo, but you get the idea. That does a lot of damage. If he really wants to fuck around and find out, he can lose the whole round off of this, especially if the wall's there. So, it's a really annoying move. Most people really want to get away from this because it feels bad. It kind of plays into Law's main game plan of like, you're going to die a slow, painful death while he beats the shit out of you, right? So you gotta mash something, and most people will mash that or crouch jab. And Nina Williams is gonna mash the armor move every time, but you can launch the armor move with this throw. It's a really cheap throw. So just like, it's just in the mind game, you know? You just gotta watch out for it and beat the responses. This is really how you start punishing people for not playing into your Rekkas because he's just sitting there. Oh, I'm doing damage with it. I'm taking my turn after this. Mash after my Rekka, right? Mash after the first hit, and then you start getting counter hits because. They're giving you space to mix them up after the first hit of your forward two or your jab. Forward two mind games is really how you want to go with this character. And then sometimes you can take your turn with the mix up, like plus three, down back three. Like law is like always plus or you're in a block string, which is what makes him annoying. He's always plus or you're in a block string. So Shin Crusher, they should give this name. They should give this move a cooler name, like like Dragon Low or something, or Dragon D's or whatever. I don't care. 
Summer's Dragon's Tail, Summer Crawl Kit. Do not do this. This is the suicide technique. It is so not worth it for the coverage it has. It covers high crush jabs. And stepping. And it can wall splat. It's not even a launcher. If I can heat burst off of this, I take back everything I just said. Alright, it's not a combo. Alright, never mind. You it's it's just don't do this. I get this move on accident. Um, if you want to troll with people with it, then go ahead. He just has it to have it. I mean, it's a cool move. They need something for the input. I think they should just remove these snake edges. It's just a random still check. Actually, no, keep them in the game so people learn how to react to them. And then it's like, oh my god, this move. It is literally slow as molasses. It is 26 frames. I can literally run downstairs, put a pizza in the oven, drive to 7-Eleven, come back, and then block the move. It is really slow. Do not do that move. Dragon Storm, back one, two. This is like the most annoying string in the game now because it's got a punishments up in it. Back one, two, back one, two, two. It is NCC from the first two hits. So you can do the first two hits and just finish it. If you see the first hit counter hit like that, the second hit is minus 12. But if you go into Dragon Charge, it's minus nine. And then you can go into Dragon Charge and duck from it. And then their Punisher will whiff sometimes. It's a really annoying move. Um, and then the first hit's minus nine. And you can go into Dragon Charge from it. So if you see they're blocking after this poke, you can just do that. Or you can you can really you can really turn up with this string. This string is really, 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 really annoying because and the last hit is delayable. So if you see someone mashing in between it, you can just do back one, two, two. Again, you're gonna have to be really nice with Rekkas, or you're gonna learn how to use Rekkas a lot. Law will really teach you how to use strings in this game because he's just got a bunch of three hit strings to keep you there. And in heat mode, it does a quadrillion damage. It's a classic Law move. You die for a gorillion damage. I dropped the combo. I wasn't really trying to land it, but you get the idea. What makes it even dumber is the second hit is minus 12, and people try to punish the second hit. The last hit's minus 14, so a lot of people can get a heat and danger from it, including Paul. Like that, because I want to go on the dragon charge from it, and then, like, I'll also do this. I'm trying to go under it, but it's not working. Sometimes they miss. But, again, you can still do that. I just had them set them to a perfect punish. But if they're late, even for a second, you'll, like, go under their shit. Like, if people just want to mash a random jab, and then you can just rob them. It's pretty dumb. Pretty dumb move. Um, and it, and it tracks to his right. So, if you see people trying to go right to avoid Dragon Hammer, which most people will, because this move is fucking obnoxious, they are going to start playing in the back one. And it's going to be a fun time for you because this stream is lit. Back to one. This move is the Prankum John move. It is new to Tekken 8. And it's a mid from his bat to one. You're not going to get a lot from this in neutral. Cause you're just going to get plus 11. That's not where the Prankum John stuff happens. Dragon. What is this? Junkyard? Junkyard is kind of an annoying strain for Bat 2. Does Bat 2 get you in? It's fine if you go for Junkyard. It's pretty low risk in this game. I'll be it. It's pretty low risk. And if they're really letting you do Junkyard, they're giving you plus six into Dragon Charge. Just be careful. Most time I do forward two. Most people are really ready for what comes after Dragon Charge, but you can do that if your Dragon Charge is really clean. Like that. Knuckle Rush, back 2-2. Two, two. Um, that's also a really long range Punisher. I forgot to mention this is NCC, but this is not where you want to use this. This is not where you want to use this. I'm just talking about the whole Junkyard string right now, right? Um, back 2-2, two, two, a really good Punisher. Um, it also is a good to turret. Remember the Rave War combo. Same property right there. Bodied. Bat 2, 3, 4. The second hit of Bat 2, 3, 4 is a launcher. You can end someone's life off of this. Since most people have been told to low parry junkyard from the Eris video, you can kind of get in their head. 
a lot of people have because they've been told to low parry junkyard for literally 20 years you have to low parry this move right and then all of a sudden you like body their muscle memory by just doing the mid and you're like haha got him gg full combo at the wall a la mile he died like that's literally how i use this move and it, and it works very phenomenally honestly but be careful it is minus 15 if you're fighting a nerd they will launch punish you for it but most people are like oh my god i can't believe he did that move so if you can kind of get away with it just do it at the wall once you notice the low parry junkyard like once you got them in that state and then you can just be like prank them john and then they're just done like it's just it's just it's just it's just a hilarious move this is your wall combo do not actually try to mix people up with this shit. it is a 34 frame low bro don't actually do that this straight is really good for wall because it because it puts you full crouch you, I like doing this wall ender um, when I'm very far away and I can't get my yes sir combo. Like off of single splats. When I really want to abuse slide, that's when I start to use it. If I'm really not in the slide mood, I'll just do this combo and then down back three. Okazemi. Is Okazemi after this wall combo is really good now. By the way. Dragon spin kick. Uh, this move is pretty good at the wall. I'm glad we're at the wall. Homing move. Um, it's really slow. Most of the time you want to back forward. You want to trap someone, but it's like got some really annoying Okazemi properties, like right here, like right there. They'll wake up into that. They back rise. You can hold back to leave yourself back turned, and you can like do some weird spacing trick against some people that aren't aware of it. Or well, they'll just randomly throw something out. Like they'll just be like, "Whatcha?" Hold up. Like, they'll just throw something out, and you'll get a whip punish kind of, like, right here. And you can just while standing, too, if they whipped anything. But it is punishable if they catch you slipping. Most people will just run up to you and do a mid if they're catching you off the guard. It's minus 12, but the pushback on it is so big, like, no one's punishing that. Like, oh my god. Like, it's, it's just not getting punished. Just be wary, like, when you're doing it, like, right here. You can't get punished for it, though. Like that. This is where that mitts up comes in. You know, stuff like that. Back 4-3. This is your whiff punisher when people are whiffing at the wall. Oh, I'm glad we're at the wall. It's 14 frames. When they whiff, this shit will wall splat from Narnia, bro. It's basically a wall bounce. Like, wall splat from, like, here. And that's a hard wall splat. I, it's gonna hit the wall from, like, here. It's basically a wall bounce. This shit is basically a wall bounce, bro. This is, like, what you do when people are, like, whipping normals from, like, at the wall. Like, they whipped, and it's, like, a la mile. The wall is nearby. Like, you're gonna clap them. Way, but way better than 3 plus 4, 4. 3 plus 4, 4 wouldn't give you a combo from there, but... Back 4, 3 is always gonna give you the yes, sir. Like that. Dragon Stinger. IMO only used because, like, you need it to be a frame tight armor move like at minus three because his other armor move while it is a heat endanger and i think it is way better you can't do the forward forward input immediately and it's a lot better for dragon charge but you get that after it does mad damage i don't think that works on everybody though if you want like something that's gonna work every time you can do up forward three but it's just not as much damage dragon arrow this is trash you might as well just do an armor move or parry. You only want to use this when, like, Leo's back one for is, like, pressuring you out of the second hit. And you can just, like, let's say Leo was doing this, like, over and over again. And it was like, oh, my God. And you can, you can do that, right? If you think that move is coming out. That's literally when it's used for. He, he has it. He laws got like three moves that just don't make sense, and that is like one of them. Like I, I've tried. Trust me, I've thought about where to use the move. You're just like being a Lamau if you're using this move. Like I'm being so real. This is the other move I was talking about. This move used to be a counter hit launcher and confirmable, like that. Now it's got like no properties on it. Like it's literally just used just to keep someone standing still. It just. It is natural. 
which is cool. And then afterwards, they do have to block, but like, bro, what am I doing this for? Like, I'm, I'm straight with this, bro. Like, shit is money. I mean, it's money. It's just like, it's just, like, it looks cool, though. Like, it's just, bro, it's not NCC. It's just, I wish it was at least NCC not down, bro. Like, like an NCC wall splat, like a 12 frame one. That would like be cool, but it, it's just not, it doesn't even do, the last hit doesn't even do anything on counter hit. Somersault, this is the fake flip. Law's unique movement command. This one's good because you can press your slide after it permits. So you can be like, hey, bro, I'm gonna slide on you after it. You don't do anything. Sometimes you can do that. Like I said, I mean, it's just another play style you can have. It also moves you backwards like that. You can press your slide from it. It's pretty good. Honestly. Uh, if after this guide, I mean, you're probably gonna see this move in my gameplay a lot more. Um, just because I like unique movement commands. Especially since they nerfed backdash speed. Backdashing is really hard to do in this game. So I might as well just do this, right? And pressure slide from it. Anything that allows you to pressure slide, it's just OP. OP. We already went over this. Minus 12, fade flip. Blackout mugging. This will get you in. This is a, a common round ender. If you know someone has really good defense, then you can really just use this as like a poke that'll get them to block once in the end because there's a low after it. It is, it is your Punisher too. It's one of his Punishers for like Brian down for two, three because it, it won't reach. It just won't reach. Um, So you got to do this move, I guess. You got to keep it in your arsenal, especially when around in someone other than doing lost 10 hit. You got to do that shit, bro. Dragon's Fury. Oh, this move is toxic. For one, it gives them superpowers. But this is the Forest Law move. So Forest Law had this move, but Martial Law didn't. But Martial Law had a bunch of Dragon Charge stuff. But now he's got the Dragon Charge stuff animated, bro. So he doesn't have to like do this for a high reward or this. Or commit to this for counter hit high reward. He's got a normal hit, like safe rewarding move from he can do from Crouch. So what makes this move dumb is not only can you just do it from standing as like a poke from this range, which is the range you want to space at, right? It's just dumb. You catch someone mashing. Um, safe on block, minus eight. It's just your your main mitts up from slide or crouch or anything. You can, it's like, it's just your main, it's like a law of demon paw. Like it's just cheap. It's just cheap. And then in heat mode, if you really have the read on someone, like I'll do this. This is my main thing. This this happens so much right here. Let me let me. This happens so much. This is this happens so much. I'll do this. Slide. They'll tech roll. Slide again, and then they'll get up into like the fruity loop of doom. And I basically went around off of that. That's basically what I use that for. And then you can use it off of like this, like that. That's like so hard to block. And you have that read. It's just, it's just really good. It's just like one of his best moves. All of his heat engagers are really good. You kind of want to play around his heat engagers, really. Whether if you can't land the jab, if you're not gonna land the jab counter hit, or if they're blocking, then they'll let you do dragon hammer. And if they're not blocking after dragon hammer, then they'll let you slide. If they're letting you slide, that means you can land up or three. So it kind of just leads into itself, really. They're not really attacking or letting you get the counter hits and slide happens and then when slide happens this happens so you're gonna get into heat mode regardless um you're probably heat bursting with law most of the time when you're already beating their ass or like it's a really slow round versus like jun or something and like nothing's happening um i don't know what this, are they talking about hop kick here there yeah, they are yeah uh, lost hop kick. Um, he's gonna need this as a as a punisher. I mean, he has a hop kick. So if you're like ducking right there, you can't do that. That's like a a really unique technique, though. I don't know how I did that the first try. Oh yeah, like that. Okay, that rarely happens though. Shaheen does that way more often. He's just got a hop kick, you know, like keep out instant timing low crush mid. That'll body a lot of stuff. You know, hop kick. It's from a movie, so it's cool looking. Dragon's Descent. I do this when I think someone is asleep. I can't believe you can do it from Dragon Charge. I do it when someone is asleep, like that, and I get my plus five. Like, how did you not react to this, bro? But most laws will do it, and you'll block it. 
and don't die for it. It's a suicide technique. I'm only doing this when I know they can let, I, like, I only do it when I know I can just whoop their ass a lot more, basically. It's minus 24, bro. Do not get this shit blocked. Um, that's like a super hop kick. It does more damage. Um, this is what you can use for like launch, launch punishes. It does like how much more damage does it do? I'm trying to see. Oh, it does six more damage. It's slower. It's just another variation of a top kick. Flip kick. This move is OD, bro. This move is scrubby. I love it. You're not have to throw this out when people think they can just move and do stuff in your face or just just attack you. Like you're gonna you're gonna flip kick on them like this, and I think it's better to like let the first kick rock first and see if they're even gonna punish it before you just do the whole thing and get the guaranteed punish. It's just it. You did a lot of damage from this. You can either choose to just side that four up three, or you can just go for that combo. Combo really dumb. Does pretty good damage. Um, like I said, double flip. It's minus 14 in this game, the second hit. So, you a lot of people will try to launch punish it, but the frame data changed, so you can just let the shit rock. Like you can just do a combo like this. I didn't make. I didn't do even more flips. Like it. Like that's a real combo. Like it went carry to the wall. Okay. 4 4 2 one. Oh my goodness. Alright, let me talk about his 4 4 2, 4 4 2 3, and 4 4 2 poison arrow. This strain is got super buffed. First off, 4 4 2 3 is hit confirmable. It's 14 frames. You can do it from crouch. Like that. Let me turn on my commands. I don't know why I haven't had my commands on, but let me show you what it looks like. You're doing slide input, quarter circle forward, neutral forward, 2 3, like that. You can hit confirm the second hit if you're woke. It does really good damage and it wall splats, right? And it's safe. It's minus six. Now let me tell you the mitts up with this. But for two one, right? There's a high there. It's a high there and it's minus four. The high is NCC to the final hit. Like that, right? You're gonna wall splat with that, bro. Like that. You can do that. The final hit though. It's minus 13. That's so much safer. It's so much safer than last game. But here's where it gets really toxic, right? Remember this move? You have the high after this, right? The string has always been in Tekken since like Tekken 5. But they added this mid after it. One inch punch. Poison arrow after it, like that. So you can go into this. Mitts up. You can mitt someone up from DSS like that by just throwing out a hit confirmable string as that a high after it, right? So that means you can just use 442 as a poke. Now, to beat this, to beat this strain, right? To, there's two ways to beat this. You can step the, just step the poison arrow when it's punch afterwards, like that. Can't step the high. Cannot step the high. And you can delay the high for a very long time. High plus two. Usual law jab frame data, right? You can also, what most people do, is jab. So you can get really cheeky right here, right? You can get really dumb. You can get really, really goofy here. Look. When you do 442, hold up. I need him to block. I need him to block. He's blocking like a solid player. Do 4, 4, 2, 1 plus 2. It beats the poison arrow, right? It doesn't beat the high. You see the high counter hits, you can finish that. Or you can just do that one, right? You can be like, ha, ah, I actually can't hit confirm. Now you have to worry about the high. You don't have to worry about the high, you're gonna run into the mid, right? You're just gonna randomly duck into this. Even though it's 31 frames, it's so cheap, right? Because they gotta wait a long time for it. But what's even dumber is you can just, like, duck. Like, I've done that because they think the poison arrow is going to come out. And I've just ducked and done that. Like, I'm so serious. I've ducked and done that. And what's even dumber, look, if he does any move that's not that, there's no way shoulder works here, right? I feel like it's literally, like, only you can jab. If you can shoulder, then I've just lied. And I've just learned something new. No, he just gets clapped. 
So if they do anything that's like not a jab or an armor move, they have to respect that trick. And then you just you just got them GGs right there. Like you just got by the board. Like you gotta deal with the fruity loop at this. And then you basically won the round. Like when I think someone's just mashing something and they're not thinking about the situation, you can you can just I'm just getting my free win right here. Like it's just and also sometimes this randomly happens. Like I'll just get carried. Like I'm going for this strain, and I'm like, all right, bro, let me do this strain. And they're just mashing. It's NCC for the first hit. If you're going for poison arrow, like they just get clapped. Like I'm just okay. Well, let's do it again. They get hit again or counter hit again, and it's just poison arrow. And this gets even cheaper when you understand how his heat mode works, which I'll explain later. It all comes together. Dragon Cannon. They buffed the hell out of this move. Not only is it armored now, it's not launch punishable. Um, and armor moves are broken, and people like to spam a lot of pressure. So you're going to need to Dragon Cannon people a lot. You're going to be Dragon Cannon people a lot. And a lot of people still think it's launch punishable, like flip kits. I don't know. They made a lot of moves not launch punishable for law anymore. So just, just to be a crackhead in the neutral, like this flip kit is not launch punishable. Like... <laughs> <laughs> this isn't launch anymore like this isn't launch anymore like it's just like he just gets to be a crackhead now like it's just what they do 444 this is the combo move don't use this use it in combos it has no other use other than besides that running three this move is dumb when you have heat mode but normally it's just a really od running three it does chip damage i forgot to mention all the moves that are doing chip but mainly it's just this move and this move and sidestep two, but we're gonna get to it. But running three, running three, bro. This move gets really cheap in heat mode. I might as well show you it now. Normally you can step the nunchuck both like to the right. Watch Paul get bodied by this, like just straight in my face, like side walk left. So the nunchuck tracks to my left, right? Oh shit, he got bodied. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was just gonna randomly happen. Right? It just randomly happens, right? If he's up close, then the nunchuck will just track that way, right? Right? When you land a running three, they can't step the nunchuck. Like, everyone tries to move after it. Like, oh, I don't want to move around the next running three. You just, watch out! Like, you gotta move around the running three, and you're just like, just like, hey! <laughs> Hey, I won the game! <laughs> like, it happens so much. It's it's just a really good running three. Like, just don't get it stepped, bro. You're gonna need to use it against Leo players for people that like to fuzzy, fuzzy duck a lot of the time. You know how Leo players be? They want that, they want that WoW 74 heat engager, so they just be moving like this. They be, they be trying to move like this, trying to block everything. And Law's lows are... While they're good frame data... They're pretty, pretty medium average reward. He gets most of his reward because, you know, he's squirming. Slow, painful death, poke character, beats your ass like a kung fu movie, etc. So you're going to need to use this bit a lot eventually, right? Plus sits. Plus sits in the magic tech and number where people cannot flash or rage art or whatever. So you're going to need to use it. Unblockable. I didn't even know you could do that. I didn't even know. When did they add this to the game? I'm looking like a noob. I was going to say, this is his unblockable input? Yeah, from his unblockable, you can land this. The blackout mugging. Like that. And also, do do they let you do DSS2 from it anymore? No. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. So, last game, you could do Dragon Charge 2 from this unblockable. But they just allowed you to... Yo, I can punch parry people from this? Yo, we just learned something together. I didn't, I'm just gonna. <laughs> like that. So I guess you gotta hit back bat. You can do any move from this? Oh, that is, I'm, I'm turning up with this move, actually. Hold up, wait, I'm. Okay, whatever, we'll get to it. Uh, lost 10 hit. I didn't even know that. That's how you do that? I'm a noob. All right, here we go. Law's 10 hit. Down for 1-3. Um, this is the usual law around, Ender. Every time you do down for the 1, 
at like a higher level, they're looking for the low after it because it's just a cheeky thing to do after a down for one and it's a poke. Down for one three two is natural. All that can hit is natural and it's minus one. The frame data is a lot better in this game on the third hit. Lost gotten a lot of buffs. Minus one here. Um this 10 hit is fun to do. It's really easy. It's just down for one, three, two, two. You hit three, three times and you hit four. It's not his other 10 hit. This taunt is really cool. I wish it gave back heat meter and it was like 20 less frames of recovery. Like I could cancel it. Um, thankfully they gave him a taunt. I've been waiting for that. Key charge. Okay, yeah, this is it. He can drag and charge two from his key charge. Like that. He can also hold it like this. Like that. And then he uses up all of his stamina. Like that. I think that's the only move he can do from the key charge, though. Um, Law's key charge is really, really, really good. Because everything Law does counter hits. Literally everything. Everything he's not a counter hit property. So when you key charge, you're... You can run up. This is a lot safer. Or you can Dragon Hammer. That will launch them. And after Dragon Hammer, they have to block. Right? This is just a 50-50. You can either... Not that low. The generic low. The generic low right here. Or... While standing for like that. Like that. That's like a true 50-50. And the while standing for flip kit like bodies him. Or you could just keep it simple and do that. And heat mode, it becomes safer. You don't have to do the minus 14 counter hit. You can literally like just... Literally just do this. And that's a launcher. Like, you get the point. I wasn't thinking about combos there. But... Get the idea and it becomes dumber at the wall so lost key charge is really good for most characters key charge set up to feel kind of troll but for like characters like law and asuka um they can put in work and even jun so be on the lookout for that while surprising one two lost 13 frame punish like that um goes into dryden charge simple ass shit. um off of while standing one most law players will check with this, and because there's a high, you gotta duck it. It's not confirmable or normal hit, unless, like, you're cracked, like you got him, like you knew the time, you know, when he was gonna duck. But on counter hit, it's like Shaheen's while standing one. It's so confirmable on counter hit. It, it, it feels like an 18-frame confirm window, so, like, you can use it in tandem with a while standing four for his while standing counter hits. Like everything from Crouch counter hits. Uh, even though Law has a lot of Rekkas, he wants to enforce slide in most of his gameplay. Like he wants to enforce slide. While standing two, it is launch punishable by most of the cast. Paul cannot launch this from that range, but he can death fist. It's just the classic uh, punisher for him. It tries to Law's left. 15 frames if you catch someone sleeping um or slipping i mean off of your slide bits up and they're trying to walk the slide you can let this shit rip or if you really know their time you know when they're gonna crouch just let it rip bro while rising three this move got buffed because dragon charge is so easy to do it's plus 17 on block meaning if you get someone to block this move a lot of people want to only duck slide when they see the slide input be done like that then no fuzzy so they can get a free plus 14, then they really have to guess, like between this. I believe this is uninterruptible on block. You can get a free slide and put it to while standing forward like that. Yeah, I, I, ju I just stop him from doing shoulder. Like, he's, he just has to guess. And if he's really mashing shoulder after a plus 17 into Dragon Charge move, like, you, you got two free actions here. You can just kick him in the face, do a quadrillion damage. You can get a launcher on him i can't believe i dropped that like that you can go into that you can like he cannot match here like you can even want to punch like you can choose how he dies so if you're making them hold all of that shit it's just a free slide mix up but if he hits you out of that you just got outplayed bro like you just got outplayed but most of the time they let you while standing three 
um, slide him to City, really. So it's broken, and you can just reset the situation. So many shimmies, that's what I do a lot. I'll usually do it like twice to get like someone to react to something, or three times, however times I need. Like Law is always plus, like everything is plus. You see all that blue next to the frame advantage? I'm like always plus, basically, or zero. And then when I'm minus, it's even scary to want to attack, because now I can parry, and my parry has a heating gauge in it. Um, front kit somersault variation. Law's while standing four is the best while standing four in the game. Because he can make it plus five, and then it's into a stance where he can interrupt you safely. But again, walls while standing four, you're gonna be using this a lot. You're gonna be poking with it. You know, playing the plus seven, doing down back three is a frame trap right there. So you gotta hold that, hold that right after. They gotta hold that mix up right there, or they can armor or parry. It's not a lot of counter hits from it. Like that, you basically can end the round if you counter hit his while standing for or you catch people mashing. Um, he's got a lot of counter hit confirms from the while standing for. He can do while standing for three plus four four and you can hit confirm that. You can do while standing for two and you can get like a ground hit off of it. You can do while standing for forward two back two and counter hit and that's uh, NCC. Like he's got a bunch of stuff and it's plus and it puts him back in the slide again. So if people are not doing anything, you can just do this. Like this. You can kind of just loop this forever. It's kind of like really toxic. And I only believe people are complaining about this because people don't really know how it works yet. But that's probably going to change in a few weeks. Like that. It's really dumb. And then you've got to make sure you're sliding on them a lot or getting them to respect slide like that and just changing your timing what you're while standing for. Pretty dumb move. Kind of what a. Most people will just sidestep right after while standing four. This will track the sidewalk right. It's pretty funny. But it will beat everything else, which is why that forward two is so OP. Forward two is so OP. You kind of want to do forward two mind games and try to get them to duck that forward two or move around it. They can sidewalk. Duck that. And then Nunchuck also plays into that. And we've already gone over Nunchuck. That move is OD, bro. The low from here. Like, it's just. You can mitt someone up off of his while standing for bro. Like it's just, it's just disgusting. Like you, like he did just do so much with it. While well, I was in three plus four, um, I didn't know this was the input for this. I, I was trying to do something else. He can't do it backwards in this game. Um, this is just to waste time. Yeah, it's just like a. A time waster. If you see Rip doing this move, do not interact with him. If you see him doing this, you will get outplayed. I don't know how Rip uses this move like that. He's got like slide step. Um, this is how you slide, basically. This is how you start law slide. I mean, a tutorial on how to do it really, really fast. But basically, this is like what law's main pressure comes from. Um, most people are not going to really play with the reward of like you just doing this all the time or this it's just not that scary enough if you see them blocking way too much you have to slide on them and this is really how law gets to most of his tekken where tekken is landing counter hits and whip punishes this is how you change your timing to land said counter hit and whip punishes and it's really dumb because i have this not down low from crouch and i also have a bunch of counter hits from my crouch like this even though he's moving, like I'm still tracking him and he's got to deal with slide like that. So slide, you know, you can always just stand up and block if you think something's going to happen to you or you can just do whatever. But this is basically how Law gets people to hit him out of crouch to throw out mids to uh, get people to block so he can get in from this range. This is basically what he's centered around, how he plays. Literally, most of his moves lead to that stance. Literally, Punisher lead to that. Um, while standing forward, that's how what he pressures. Like he is going to crouch, slide, like that. Pretty simple, you know. Uh, this is a very like ugly, pretty game. Like you will get people to duck, see their timing, right? And you will also get punched in the face. You'll die for using this. You'll win for using this. It's like. Something you have to understand how to use if you want to 
play law. Like, you have to, like, get really nice with it. But the, it's just Tekken, you know, if you see them, like, really not doing anything about it, you just have to play around the timing of it. I've gone insane trying to use this move where I've, like, done the low at that timing, and then I've done the mid at that timing, and they blocked both, and I just didn't really know what to do. But you just gotta keep going with it, and you gotta slide more. You just gotta figure out where they're blocking and just slide at different times. That's something they just didn't tell me. But I'm gonna tell you right now, if someone's like fuzzing your slide, just do while standing three a bunch. If they're willing to fuzzy slide like that, and they're willing to get bodied by all these frame traps like this. Mm. Side step two, new move. Does chip damage, it's pretty nice. Zero unblock, the golden number, zero. Absolute for law, basically, OD situation. Um, it's a good auto time mix up for his side step three, since side step three is also 18 frames, and it's just the most godlike low ever, like, bruh. And that's the, I think in order of lows, of which are the best, I would rank them like, what do you, side step three, or not side step three, down bat three, if they're giving you space to do down by three, then you're really able to do size step three. And if they're really giving you space to size step, then they're definitely giving you space to duck. If they haven't already allowed you to get full crouch. So, Law's problem before, sometimes he wouldn't be able to get full crouch in some matchups where their mids were really god like like Paul. But now I can I can get full crouch versus Paul now. Like, there's ways for me to get full crouch um without dying. Or less risk and that's the way to do it I just talked about size step two I mean it, it knocks down and it wall splats law hasn't had really any safe mid wall splats that are confirmable so this is like a really good buff really good buff besides like one inch punch I'm talking about the speed but yeah he's got some of those now um this is called low crush that's funny Side step three is overloaded. Dragon charge is really OP, like I said before. And this is a low that puts him in the dragon charge at plus seven. And you just make him guess off of this. You just make him deal with forward two. They're dealing with forward two. Then you can slide. And if they're really mashing, you got that. If they're side walking, you pit that. And if you're in heat mode, you can just hit one plus two. This move has a just frame in it, if you didn't know. One counter hit is plus 16. Gives you a free heat engager. That's a two frame window, three frame window, I think. That's not the just frame I'm talking about. I'm talking about this one. Just frame tornado claw, like that. Hit it my first try, cause I'm him. It's really good, cause Law can always get a combo off of this in heat, but he has to spin heat mode for that. Which sometimes you don't want to do, but it's a lot easier to do. But if you have the sauce and you know, have good. See, I can't even do it now. Oh, I got it in, in the counter hit stage. Hold up. Wait. See, it's not easy to do. Something that requires a lot of practice, but. Yeah. Law of just frame. Nunchuck is 16 frames. You get. Plus 16 off of this. In order to practice that, just try to get a uh, a blue spark like that. If you can land a blue spark, then you can hit one plus two on that same timing. I messed up, but I'm done practicing it. Yeah, low crush. It's really dumb because you can sidestep, dragon hammer, sidestep, up over three. Basically, they gave you Paul side step three, but they put some sauce on it. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's a really saucy low. Side step one plus two one. Interesting move. Um, I this move used to be super troll, but they made it real. So you can kind of whip punish with this move. It'll be plus seven, just like that. Um, be careful because it puts you in the dragon charge automatically at minus four. So. But, like, most people, I don't think can punish this open ground. It's got mad blots done, even though it's minus 16. It's not NCC, but... That would be pretty cool. But, it's got just, like, a big-ass frame trap button that you to let you into the stance and mix people up if they're respecting it. It's something. It's just not one of his better moves. It just exists. 
So I said three plus four. Every law is using this now. I put people onto this move. I get carried by this move because people jab at round start and then I get my big ass combo because I know they're about to do something. I'll be landing this move so much. Just a launcher. It's a full launch in this game. They made the launch really good. They buffed it. It's minus 12 now. He can jab from bad turn. He can do one, two, three. He can do all of his jab strings. Like the same thing from bad turn. From now bad two. I, re I think I went over down bad two, right? Did I skip that? This is like only elbow. Right there. You're gonna need to use that. Um, minus four. Just turn around. It's safe. But when hit, like, you have that. But, again, he can go into all of his jab trains from bad turn if you really need to. Um, bad turn 2-2. Two, two. It's not hit confirmable, but you can delay the second hit. Just because it's a combo. Both hits are minus 14. So they're way safer. You know, they're just way safer than they used to be. And if, even if it counter hits, you can still land a wall splat like that if you really want to. Pretty cool move. Um, Wolf Fang. His bat turn moves aren't really that good. This is an NC. But it's unsafe. This move is plus under underrated. Plus one. I've done that to people. If you're plus one with Law, you can kind of just jab the shit out of them. Like that. So, I mean, it's a homing move. Got a pretty cool combo. It doesn't really have any other properties than normal hit plus 16. Like, it's just... It's a move. Oh, yeah. Bat turn low. Minus 13. Frogman. Old heads love this move. I don't know why. It looks really fucking stupid. Um, but... Again, like, it's just a grounded bat turn hit. You can, like, hit people with it. It's not... You have way better moves to do. Grad in charge. Grad in charge one. Um... This is different. It used to have a string after it. It puts you in a dragon charge automatically. Does chip damage. Like that. It becomes dumber in heat mode. Like that. During. Oh yeah. Dragon charge 2. Like that. You can step this. It's 12 frames, by the way. Um, when counter hit. You get a heat engager. It's one of your main things you want to use when someone's mashing after your dragon charge. Especially this one. Like that. Dragon Charge 2. This is now plus one block in this game. And does shift damage. Plus one. And it is a counter hit launcher. So this is one you want to use when people... Your DSS is really clean. And they're mashing after while standing for it. Like, you can just win. It, it, it will trade with a jab if your Dragon Charge is, like, clean. But if you can't really have a clean Dragon Charge, just do Dragon Charge 1 for the re... Basically, he's got a move to hit someone for every type of reaction in the Dragon Charge if you know they're, what they're going to do and you can get it off. Like, this will be Sidewalk and it's plus on block in this game. Right, everything's either now plus or not launch anymore. And it does a lot of damage. Like, this just does a lot of damage. That's like normal hit. It, it doesn't need a counter. It's just a launcher. I still don't know if this is guaranteed. But no one has gotten out of it, so I just do it every time. Um, this low's toxic. It's plus six on hit, minus 13. And if you micro dash after it and hit one plus two, it is a launcher. Please don't take it out, Namco. Thank you. So I have two counter hit launching lows. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he can do one plus two from Dryden Charge. And that's what makes Dryden Charge, like, really OP. Because this will beat jabs, and it will track left. Which is how you avoid a lot of drag and charge moves when people don't want to interact with you. And slide. You can just body them for it. Just a dumb move. Drag and charge forward one. This used to be minus 14. Now it's minus 9. That's another buff right there. It's NCC from his while standing 4. So if you get a counter hit on the while standing 4 off a of slide pressure like that, you get light in the heat mode. That's one way to get in the heat mode. It's really good. What else? Yeah, that's basically it. It's just a safe mid from Dragon Charge. And he has not had that, like, ever. Other than this. But, like, that's 25 frames. So you can actually make people guess with this stance now. Like, you can make them guess whether you should move and stuff. Oh. 
and he can you, and he can poison arrow from dragon charge so you can just like mix people up like really hard like that it's like you can go forever with this shit oh and it can do an armor move if he really is afraid of getting mashed out like he can do anything from this I've already went over this now this move is cheap legend kick it does more chip damage if you do a perfect dragon charge does more chip too does seven chip normally but it does 12 more chip or it does 12 chip damage if you land a blue spark which is a perfect input and it does a wall crush it's really good at the wall and in heat mode it just you're gonna be like kuma you're just gonna tank their health bar if you land this dragon charge at the wall basically you're mixing up if you want to do a safe wall flat mid or slide or this thing and you're plus 10 and plus 10 means you get a free dragon hammer right there and so you can find a sauce with this like it's just like that like you can go ham with it and then you get a free dragon hammer or a down by a three there if you really want it's just it's just really good uh laws one plus three bro um this breaks about the balcony pretty good and it leaves people pretty close so it's not too bad this breaks the floor so this one one plus three breaks the balcony two plus four breaks the floor and i don't think the nunchuck is guaranteed after it if they do break it but i do it a lot I do it a lot, like afterwards, and it's a lot of damage for if they didn't break the throw. You're, you should throw a lot with Law. He's also got this throw, and he says, I'm a dragon, and he just runs up your body. That's a one break. It doesn't break the floor. That would be OD. Um, Headlock punch. Another throw. I don't know if the Okazumi's real, but it exists. He's got another one plus two throw. That's 12 frames. He's going to need to use this for, like, frame-wise type stuff. You can also do it after Dragon Charge, and if he presses that input after Dragon Charge, it's a different throw animation, like that. But outside of Dragon Charge, you do up forward one plus two, one two one plus two. It'll break the floor like that, and gets a cool combo. Knee lift. This one's 14 frames. It's basically your minus 14 armor punish. Punish. We gotta buffer the throw during the block stun or whatever you're trying to punish so he can launch things at minus 14 like that um i already showed you this throw it's just the throw from dragon charge if you really think someone's going to armor your shit and you need something really fast it's a pretty good reaction check other than doing uh while standing four four two it doesn't track so they can step it so just be careful be mindful of it parry There it is. You want to parry after things like down forward one, forward three one. Parry stabbed after it. You cannot parry after down forward two in this game. Lost that ability. To parry after one two. Uh, what else? I especially most of the time I use it. I don't parry too much after stuff. That's where you parry jabs and stuff. So you gotta get kind of nerdy about it, I guess. If people are responding with jabs like that, you get the parry. There's a heat engager in it, so that means you can launch somebody off of his parry like that. He also has this. I rarely do this parry, ever. I'm always doing back 1 plus 3, because this parry is automatic and dragon charge anyway, so like... Now, I'm going to go over Law's heat mode. But before I can teach you how this heat mode works... You need to know how Dragon Charge works. Dragon Charge can be done from this, right? So the mix up from Dragon Charge is if you're going to let me slide from this move. And the mix up from slide is up forward three, right? Or if they're moving around, you just do like a while WoW standing two. But don't think about while WoW standing two. Just think about slide and up forward three for now. So he's mashing jab after this. He's going to eat a forward two. I tried to charge one. He's going to let me into heat mode. Or he's just going to let me in the crouch and slide on him. So he has to do something defensive back to stop me. 
And if he's really just mashing anything after it, I can finish the flip like that. And that's after while standing four. While standing four is the main move you're going to be using to get into Dryden Charge. So defensively, what you want to do versus Dryden Charge is sidewalk, right? It will beat a lot of the options. So if they're sidewalking right to beat like this in the mid, right? Because you'll die for this, right? If you think you're going to instantly frame trap, then you can do Dryden Charge 3. Dryden Charge 3 is also plus. Also, Dryden Charge 3, after that, is like only like a four frame gap. So it's pretty like safe to do after Wild Standing 4. Again, we're only talking about like this situation on block from like plus five. So if someone's sidewalking right, you can do Dryden Charge 3, or you can do the low. And then from that low, you can step kick in with that. That's not a frame trap though. They can sidewalk after it. Nunchuck is pretty good to do when you're in heat mode. But most of the time I do that. Or you can just threaten slide. Or if you really want to frame trap them, back two or back one. It's all it's all admits up from that range. They have to guess whether which side they can step. And remember they are in force crouch. Are in full crouch. So they can't really step certain directions. Depending on which if they're on 1P or 2P. Most of the moves from Dryden Charge you'll be using to miss people up are that. Slide. You see things whiffing, right? Because sidewalk right is what you want to do, right? Sidewalk right is what you want to do to beat that. And that's usually what people do. And then forward two comes in, which is why you see me do forward two a lot. Or just reset to see what they're going to do and realign. Now, when you're in heat mode, that shit changes. Like, you can't just do that. I will launch you if I just do the nunchuck or if I think you're going to move. So because of that, if people don't know, now they just stand still, right? And mashing is very hard to do. And because of that, now I get to slide on you more. So now I'm in heat mode. So that's essentially how that works. So that works from, like, almost everything. Works from almost everything. So imagine I'm in heat mode, right? Activate heat. And I do one inch punch. Plus five. So it's the same mitts up. He can't move. And that's gonna beat jabbing too. That's gonna it's gonna beat his jab because he ducks at the beginning of it. Hold on. Why is it not letting me press start? Yeah. He is uh He's uh He's down there. That's going to beat Paul's jab. Pretty nice. Um, It also plays into his, like, regular game plan of, like, poking people down. You saw how that shit whiffed? You can do that. If you ever catch someone slipping like that, and they are trying to sidestep block your down back three, you can just like that, and you'll just clap them right um so that's from like everything so that's from size step three right your plus seven that mix up still works you want to use drag and charge to get people to play into your reka and then use the heat mode like that so the things you can do from heat mode um they're always on the like edge of dying no matter what while laws in heat mode not only do I have the auto parry, right? They can't just respond with jab. They have to block. Your slide gets an Okazumi reset. They stay on the ground. He can land another one. Like that. His 1-1-1 one, one, one becomes a counter hit launcher. Right here. 1-1-1. One, one, one. Back 2-2. Two, two. Back 1-2-2 two, two becomes a counter hit launcher. Plus on block. They're all plus on block if you heat dash and confirm into it. This is the launcher now, dashes. This is not a launcher, but it's armored, so a Lamau. Up four three, I'm a noob. Yeah, that. Yeah, that is your Mitsa from Slide. So you can kill them for anything if you have the read on it. Like you can get a high reward punish on them while you're in heat mode. For like anything like that. Does a lot of damage. land that and you get like an attack like that that's essentially what you want to do with lost heat mode 
So, he can also do it from Dragon Charge 1. He can do the launcher from that as well. Um, I've already mentioned Psy Step 3 and another guide, but Psy Step 3 counter hit is a launcher now. That's basically everything he does with Heat Mode besides randomly running around, hitting the nunchuck space in neutral and launching people off of it. So now he's got like a really high reward mid. So usually people just like to duck versus law because he's like doing like this low painful death thing. And usually his mids aren't really like super high reward unless they're unsafe. But now they are like so he just will kill you off of anything. So every bits up becomes scary. You're like, oh my God, I can't jab him right here. What do I do? And you let him slide. And if you're really trying to die, T smash. Plus 11. Breaks armor. Cool animation. Also, it's not that little nunchuck after. So when you whiff, that happens. Also, you can do it from crouch. So I'd use it as like my final mitts up from crouch sometimes. Like one more. And I don't want up over three. The armor break is mostly what he uses it for. Also, it's 14 frames. So it's like also a really good whip punch. I think it'll hit from here. No, not from here. I'm sorry, I'm a dude. All right, there we go. The mitts up from this heat smash. Essentially, the usual shit. Most people would do that. But it's like saying, are you gonna let me slide on you, basically. That's basically what it is. Most of the time I do this, because sometimes I do this if people I think we were gonna rage art, which most people do. And it wall splash from pretty far away. It's not like shit, it's heat smash. It breaks the wall. One, one, two. That's a 10 frame. You know when the dragon charge. It's pretty good. 12 frame. He's got 3 4. Knocked down. Wall splat. Pretty good. 2 bat 2. 12 frames. It's a little bit longer range than 3 4, as you see right there. A little bit longer range. Puts him bat turn. Uh, most people use 3 4. Um, it's just situational punish. He also has upward 1 3. Very long range punish. You'll use it for like Brian down 4 2 3. 13 frames. 4 3. We already went over Shaolin Kick. But basically, it, it puts you in the Dragon Charge and you can start saucing on people. Fourth hit. The third. Uh, not the fourth hit. The third hit isn't guaranteed. For 14 frames, 3 plus 4 4. That's your main 14 frame punish. There it is right there. Main 14 frame. It's a god like with punish. You're going to be using this a lot because people will try to keep you out because you're fucking mauling them when you get in with law with like the most broken moves in a distance. So you have to 3 plus 4 4 shit. People will keep you out because they want to up their reward on your low reward potes that you're doing on them and they want to cash out on you beating their ass. So you have to make them pay for their keep out down 4 twos and their quarter circle back 4s. And their electric wind god fists and their hop kits and all all types of things. You gotta make them pay for it. They're Brian three plus fours, their orbitals, their random parries, their Osaka up four threes, everything. You gotta make them pay. You gotta deal damage. You gotta reset the neutral. And if they're not holding back after this, you get a free rounded hit. More damage, and you're back to doing this thing. Like right here. And then Etc. He also has back 4 3. That's your 14 frame punish or your whip punish when you're near the wall because it sends them to Narnia. Wall splash from so far away. Uh, 15 frame, down 4 2 or hop kick. You're going to need to hop kick Eddie Gordo back 3 3 because that leaves him crouching. Eddie Gordo is a really awkward character to punish and he's very defensive. It's probably one of the most annoying matchups he has because, like, Eddie Gordo's got a lot of safe. A bar a with like the armor move and back three counter hit and like the high crushing and like they just never stand still and his keep out is really obnoxious besides that three foot four so you just gotta be very mindful of stuff like that and know when to hop kick you're gonna have to use it to punish stuff 16 frames nunchuck like that pretty nice it gets, it, gets a, it becomes a really good Punisher for a lot of things later. It's it's also a really good with Punisher when you're in heat mode because you are in I'm about to kill you mode. So people will whip things and it's like get body. So it's just like a Neo 3 plus 4 from Tekken 7. For while standing punishment frames. 
while standing four. Um, it's plus 16 if you're doing the dreaded charge, so you can mitt someone's shit off of your uh, 11 frame punish. It's a bad habit of mine for not punishing 13 frames. For a 13 frame while standing, you got while standing one, two. It, it's pretty good. 35 damage, not down, and it wall splats. Just don't mess it up against someone that knows the second hit is a high, or you will die. Like, that's that's just a suicide technique right there. Don't do that. Uh, and then, 14 frame, I don't know if he has anything for 14. Not at all. 15 frame, you just wild standing too. Stat or lows, you can get carried by doing wild standing too. You can also hop kick from crouch, but no one's gonna do that. You're not doing that, bro. Stop it. Um, you're hitting wild standing too. And... Everything else, you can just flip kick if it's really that stagger if you want to style it. Really. What are his strengths and weaknesses? Um, Law is like a character who wants to get in and just beat the shit out of you with his coats. Because when Law gets in, he feels really awful, like for the other person. Like, it just feels awful. Um,. Law kind of wants to make you die a slow, painful death if you're not doing anything about it. So your idea with Law is to punish their reactions. And sometimes you can hold like a default where I'm going to do this until you do something about it. Like, okay, well, here we go. So he's got these potes. His jab is really good. Um, You don't want to play into his jab because his jab is a heat engager. A counter hit. Confirmable heat engager. It's forward two. You can't really move after his two jab because it's got a mid after it. And after the, the next mid, it's got another high or mid after it. So you just can't move. So he's just like doing this in your face. Most people are going to try to step or mash somewhere. Uh, but the main idea is you want to pressure his slide. Because his slide is like his highest rewarding low. You kind of get most of your stuff because... You scare people with slide, and there's also a heat engager mid like that. So a lot of people are gonna whiff. You can see their reaction with slide. That's mainly what you want to do. How they react to slide, how they react to while standing for what you're doing, stuff like that. And then you can also run around and dragon hammer. Most of the time, you want to start off with down back three to see what type of player they are. Like, if they're just at a fuzzy duck, where their defense is. If they're going to give you more space, what do they like to respond with? Do they like being hit or touched? Will they let you in the full crouch? And then if they let you into full crouch, it's kind of a good game. You can slide on them there. Eventually, they're probably going to duck. And then you can kick them in the face. So, Law is a character where, like, he's going to kick you in the face. Like... Because if not, he's going to like slide on you over and over again and just kill you. And then once you start mashing or trying to do mids to keep him on a slide, mids are usually slower. Or like, no, not even usually. Mids are slower than jabs. So now they're just doing a bunch of mids to keep you on a slide. And then you counter hit them with 1-1-1. One, 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 or back one. And all these other strings you can't move out of. So it's sort of like a little mitts of like flow chart there you kind of want to see if they'll let you into full crouch which is going to inevitably happen because everything leads to full crouch and then you can kill them if they're letting you into full crouch because that's where your highest reward move is and if they're stopping you from getting into full crouch to pressure it you keep them still with Rekkas, like this, saying, okay, am I going to go full crotch with this Rekka? And people will be like, oh no, I'll mash out of it. And then they die to the stuff like that. And now, I'm going to show you that happen in real time against some random person online. Get ready for the next All right, Lars, same, same concept. Like, Lars is okay for Law. It's not too bad. You just need to admit him and see the type of person you're fighting against. Okay. He's jabbing. He switched sides. And most people have poor throw break. He's just mashing jab on everything. So I gotta get close into him. Right? Lars has really crazy movement. And he's hard to get close to as you see my jab and stuff is whipping. Junkyard. Dude, 
that. Thought he was gonna mash after it, because most people do. He's holding forward. Generic low. He's probably gonna do the Volt Tackle. Nope. He did jab into Arc Blast. That was very nice. Lost a round. That was pretty good. So I got a lot of his like stuff that round. So I'm gonna try to take control of the match and just go for a crouch since he's letting me go for a crouch. Actually, he's not. He's doing minus eight and two while standing one. What is that? Slide. He's blocking the slide. Now I gotta wait. Throw to throw. Throw to next throw. I got missed. That's minus 12, but I could have ducked it. He's playing very wild. I did that because he was mashing jab a lot. Brain trap with that. Lars uh, slides full screen for most of his neutral, so I just gotta be mindful of that. Alright, he sprung kick. Hit up forward three there as a meaty. Let's try to slide pressure. Trat. And then break the throw. That was pretty nice. I have to sit up and actually win this because. Nice. I'm probably about to go ham on this guy. Yeah, he's playing mad wild. He's like doing. Nice. I didn't break the throw. I got exposed. It's really hard to talk about what I'm going to do. And doing it, because there's so much that changes. Round one. You know, because I really want to win this. Pressure with slide. He did that twice. He's playing like super wild and crazy and random, so I have to like play with coverage here. Should have reacted to that. I'm just doing the same move over and over again. Again, he got me. Put him on the wall with that throw. Block that low. Down my three meaty. Down my three meaty. DSS mitts up to he just mash it randomly. Missed the punish. Ah. Got a miss input there. Oh shit. I did not expect him to do that. Someone doing duck in the while standing moves, they just died a dragon hammer. That was super random, like I said. I don't know why he did that, but he's willing to kill himself. And all those things, he plays Lars really awkward. So you kind of just have to let him do that. So you don't get clapped by random launchers. You have to let people go crazy. Nice. I got outplayed there. Yeah, that just shimmy with slide right there. Just say, hey, 
I'm about to slide and then just back up. You don't have to force slide, you just have to enforce it. And he's just mashing stuff with large, so. He's mashed every single time, so you also frame trap. So knowing how to like play sort of conservative is important. Seeing how I made that adjustment there is really important. You kind of have to just whip punish sometimes, a lot of the times. Or frame trap. He would have died to another nunchuck. Auto parry saved me there. That happens a lot. He's got good movement. Oh, that's not launch anymore? Oh, he's not good. He's not good reaction. This guy's not too bad. Well. And I'm just killing him for his reactions. He just likes to duck after minus moves a lot and play really crazy and stuff like that. That hit my back dash. That's like a launch punishable move. Like what was the read there? That's a good duck. You think he's just gonna fall from four up three? That's what I mean. Good duck on the slide. So you gotta use slide to get in, and it's gonna get blocked. You gotta check if they're gonna block it. So you can get their timing to when they hit you in the face. Like I said, you're gonna die for trying to slide. You kinda gotta do it. Like that. He's trying to not interact with me. And then when he does, he's trying to rob me off of it. So I just choose stuff like that. Heat mode. Put him in a hard Oki situation. So he's got a guess. Trying to rob me on my own Oki. And I got him. So I just make that read on him. So you really have to go in and see how the person's reacting and kill them for their responses a lot. But you have moves to do that with. And it also depends on the matchup. Like I said, remember, it's you have to let them die a slow, painful death. And if their death involves doing the down four two at minus eight into duck stuff, you have Dragon Hammer. Like, okay, he's just gonna die there. Or if he's just gonna whiff, he's just gonna whiff. Sometimes you have to let it happen. But then when you see nothing happening, you have to enforce the slide to get them to mash or do something to neutral, which I did, and then they died for it. If you know where you can frame trap people, you can enforce a mitts up for when they block. Like, okay, if you're not gonna block here, then I'm gonna frame trap you. Thank you for watching.